So Dan, if you could take us through the new Triumph. I can. It's a Triumph's been a legacy series for St. Croix guys. It's a, it's actually Triumph is the number one selling North American manufactured fishing rod of all time. That's a really powerful statement. And it, one, one of the reasons that's the case is its value. We've talked about the manufacturing process. And you, you, you look at the Triumph, the manufacturing processes in Triumph are the same as in our highest end rods. And specifically what I mean by that, let's take the handle, for example, from a urethane shim to very expensive resins to laser alignment for a uh, real uh, handle uh, alignment, laser alignments on blank straight, straight edge, blank straightness, guide alignment, laser alignment all the way down to the decal. So you're looking at a manufacturing process for St. Croix's gateway starting point that is just flat out overbuilt. And I think the, the, the angler has, has really bought into that and caught onto it, which is a true blessing for us. Cause again, that's why we exist guys is to, to give the angler the advantage on the water. So for 2021, we reimagined this series and it's a, it's a, it's a big series, 24 fresh models, freshwater models, for example, spinning, casting, salmon, steelhead, musky. There's a travel section in there. Um, and that's just in freshwater. And then you have inshore, surf, surf travel, inshore, for example, there's 13 models of saltwater triumph inshore. So it's a vast diverse series of rods. That's a terrific value specifically at the manufacturing level and how it fishes. And again, it's St. Croix's gateway price point to get into the brand. So to say we're excited about this one is an understatement. It's gonna be really cool to, to have it take off this fall, it's available. And uh, it'll certainly run right into 2021 really strong. Very cool, like you said, very price point different rods, like I said, but they, again, that St. Croix quality looks like, look on the site, uh, looks about what, one, $100 to $120 for the, the two pieces of the regular rods and up to 149 for the four pieces. Does that sound about right? Yeah, that's right. So it's a very affordable rod. And you know, I wish I had a dollar every time somebody tours the factory up here and they get done and they say, I can't believe that rod only costs that much. Mm -hmm. At every single stage, we talked about the 32 sets of hands manufacturing process. Every single stage is covered by people that are very passionate, very prideful in what they do. Triumph's merely just an example of that. And what, what you're gonna see is when you try, at least attempt to overperform at every level, again, the ultimate beneficiary is the angler, the single flat out fish. That's really cool. And uh, for those of you who haven't uh, tried a St. Croix rod and, and really, really seen the craftsmanship and performance uh, that that craftsmanship uh, results in uh this is an easy affordable way uh mm -hmm. to to try out a new rod brand that you know i mean they, st croix st croix is very strong uh, across a lot of the country but there's a lot of people who've never picked up a st croix rod yeah i mean i think so they, they expected across they were you guys were huge in the salt water uh, sorry, the, the fly fishing and, and the trout game that kind of stuff up north in the last few years, you've been just really just coming in the bass market and dominating. I mean, look, I mean, I mean, I don't know how many years in a row you guys have had an award. It's you guys. Are, I mean, the sales are killing it, and the rods themselves, and the customers are obviously liking it. Um, I, I really want to get down there and do that too. I think it'd be a really cool thing for myself to see. But I think, I mean, I think the customers themselves would need to see everything that goes into building a Saint Croix rod. I think that'd be really fun to do. Sure, sure. You know, there's uh, as you mentioned, there's been a lot of focus from Saint Croix over the last few years. Uh, in the bass market. And I do wonder how much of that is uh, driven by a, a really gnarly bass head, Dan Johnston. <laughs> well, the, there, there's way, way more than just me. I tell you, we've, we have our product manager is a fanatic bass fisherman. Our director of marketing is a fanatical bass fisherman. Our engineer is a big, big musky fisherman and all of the people up here fish. This is one big, really one big family and to be perfectly clearly honest with you guys, we consider you guys part of that family too, honestly, and all the viewers out there. That, that that's, again, that's what drives us. So you get us on a bass train idea, thinking about something for bass fishing, we're covered up in it, in the way we fish them, but it equally as important, we wanna to listen to you, you know, and, and, and try to understand your needs and desires. 
The one advantage we do have is we do have total control over the manufacturing process. So it gives us a chance, you know, to bring your dreams to reality. And it's, it's really fun. I, I think our best days are ahead of us. I agree. And you, you really see the brands that really are fishermen first and they, they are not just selling a product. They are, they are out on the water using it. They're building it like for us, for them. They're, they know the product, they, they, they know the sport. So it's part, you're part of the fishing family. So it, it really does come through and show with your guys' and stuff. And it's really cool to be associated with you guys and just kind of just see the progress and the, and the evolution of St. Croix and Tackle Ralph's growing together. It's awesome. Absolutely. You, you know, I